What's good, my macOS users? Today I'm gonna be showing you guys that are running macOS Monterey how to record all of your desktop audio. So whether or not you're on an Intel-based Mac or even an M1 chip-based Mac, you're gonna be able to do this completely for free. So for this video, I brought it down to my top two recommendations that I recommend you guys check out in order to record your desktop audio in OBS, of course. Are you ready? Let's go. The first program you guys are gonna to wanna to check out is called Black Hole. I'm on their website right here. I also left link description below. But essentially when you come to this page, you wanna put in your email address, you wanna put in your first name, last name, and then you're gonna click the subscribe button so that you can get the download file emailed to you. For me, I just use one of my secondary email accounts, which I don't mind getting different types of random emails to. So that, that worked for me. But after you subscribe with your email, you'll see that right away that you got the email with the download link in your mailbox. So you wanna to go to that email and then just select that first link where it says black hole download and then you have the code. So you have 24 hours to click on this code so you can be able to download your program. But once you get to the download page, just go ahead and download the first option here. From there, just install it like you would any other program on your computer. If there's any security preferences or pop-ups that come about, just make sure you allow those so that the application is able to run on your computer as it's designed to. Now that we have the program installed, we now wanna go to our audio MIDI setup. So you can do that by searching using the command and space key, type in MIDI, and then you'll be able to check out your audio devices on your Mac computer. And what we wanna check out is the multi-output device. So I already have one created here, but if you don't have that already, you're gonna to wanna to click this plus button down here on the left-hand side, and then you're gonna to wanna to create a multi-output device. So after you select that, you'll have one created, and then you're gonna to wanna to make sure you, that you have the built-in output selected, as well as Black Hole 2 selected for your audio devices. And now, if we click out of here, and then go to our preferences, go to sound, and then within our output devices, we wanna select the multi-output device, which is the aggregate device. So you can see this is kind of similar to how it is for the I show you setup. Once you do that, you'll notice on your computer that you can't modify your audio system volume levels anymore. So you either have to set it before you switch to the aggregate device, or you need to adjust your audio volume within the applications that you're using. With that all out the way, now that we have OBS open, all we need to do is go to our settings, go to the audio tab, and then for one of the desktop audio devices, we can just select black hole and then select OK, and let's give this a little test. Oh, imagine if we could play copyrighted music. Woo -woo. As you can see, any piece of audio that you'll play through your Mac will be picked up with Black Hole in OBS, just like that, really easy. I have headphones on too, audio still being picked up. This is just awesome, and it works. The last program or virtual audio device to show you guys here is called Loopback, and this is one of my favorites. Like, guys, this is not a sponsored video because this application does cost $99, but I love this program. It is so good. It allows the mixing and combining of different audio hardware sources as well as the application audio and system level audio all channeled together. There's also no special configurations required. So that means I don't have to go into my MIDI settings, create an aggregate device. I don't have to go into my audio settings and then now I can't modify my system audio or anything like that. So check it out. This is my loopback right now. I get most of my audio recorded through Google Chrome or maybe through Spotify. But for the video, I'll show you quickly how to set something like this up. All I need to do is press the plus button here to set up a new virtual audio device. It's my loopback audio too. And then at the top where you see sources, this is where I can add all the different apps that I'm using, even the hardware devices. This is just so nice to use in case I don't want all my audio that's on my desktop being heard, maybe on a stream. For example here, guys, you could add the Spotify app, Discord app, Google Chrome app, and let's say even your microphone, and that's it. And you can just pull that straight into OBS without a problem. If you do have loopback though, and you're in OBS, the setup is exactly the same as Black Hole. Just go over to your settings, go to audio, and then I'm just gonna set my desktop audio to be the loopback audio, and that will play my audio for whichever tracks that I've set up 
through to OBS for my stream and recordings. Now the possibilities are endless. We can make reaction videos. Oh no, this is fake right. Then where'd they go? They went on my ass. Who's this guy? I'm Pops. <laughs> But there you guys have it. Those are my top two recommended virtual audio device programs that you guys can use on your Mac OS operating system, whether or not you're on Intel or an M1 chip based system. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions whatsoever. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also, cop the merch. We got some in the shop. Links all description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.